Welcome to Crypto Me 101, the home of value and good information when it comes to cryptocurrency trading and investment in general. My name still remains the same. I met a lot of magic and today we're going to be talking about a lot of things on the show. And you all know the show, it's the Bitcoin and Breakfast Show where we trade it and we do not gamble it. And I think our result can speak for itself. Right now, you can see that we have FOMC trading because we're going to have FOMC coming up 1st of February. XAPO is trading. We all know XAPO has got a lot of things to deal with um, the SEC. And also, Solana is trading. We all know what happened with Solana going to $8 and recovering uh, back as fast as possible, especially from beginning of the year. Litecoin, it's, it's, it's a coin like Bitcoin that has been there for days now. We have Arbitron, Cryptocurrency, Binance Rabbit and just a lot of things are trading. But what do we have to discuss today on the show? We have so many things to look at. Uh, we have CBDC now in most countries that you guys won't even believe it's happening. And I think uh, it's a great thing. But before we get into the show, let's check what's going on on the chat firstly so we can all know what uh, the chat is going to look at today. And right now we can see that after the rally from, I don't know, from around 16,000 plus, that's beginning of the year, you can see it right here. It's around 16,000 plus where we started the year with a massive or a huge move. Let me use a two hour time frame so you can get to see it nicely. You can see it right here. Uh, the movement start from here and we've been just it's been a good rally. It's been up and down, moving upward. And now we're looking for where we could possibly get a shot or possibly get a reversal. Then we take the shot, then we can move back to where the market's supposed to go. But right now, Bitcoin is trading at 22,711. Uh, As I'm speaking to you right now, is it now the good time to shot? Is it a good time to take the trade? Now I'm going to share that with you shortly and i'm going to explain why i put these three circles around this trend so you can understand what could possibly be happening so you don't want to miss the show or go anywhere if you've not subscribed to the channel i expect you to do that right now subscribe like and share and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any of our content but right now let's go straight to uh the market watch first of all to know what the market cap is looking at Right now, we can see market cap is now sitting above 1 trillion, both on all the other side. Even when you look at the sister site over here, it's still 1 trillion. So it's now officially that we are above 1 trillion US dollar when, talk, when it comes to cryptocurrency market cap. And BTC still remain the dominance and ETH still remain the queen as BTC is the king. And also, even when you check there, you can see BTC is 40.5% and ETH at 18.3%. Also, here you can see 41.9% at 19%. So that means they're correlated and they're close to each other. And you can see Bitcoin is trending because it's been down about 0.78% in the last 24 hours. We have Singularity Net at 5% down in the last 24 hours and taboo token also trending but what would do we need to look at we just need to look at at the market cap and the volume we can see right here that bitcoin market cap is now at 437 billion and the trading volume in the last 24 hours even though it's weekend is now close to 25 billion us dollars and you can see the circulation still remain at 19 million we all know the maximum circulation is going to be 21 million token and eth now is now below 200 billion market cap and uh the volume trading the last 24 hours is about 7 billion uh you can see it dropped to 6.9 billion but approximately 7 billion market cap and the token circulation still remain 122 million ethereum in circulation and also you can see xp uh xrp excuse me is trading at 0 0.40 cent now still at discount if you may ask me boy master pullback because we're expecting a pullback from all these rally we see here you can see all of them are green we're expecting a pullback and that's where you need to look for 
a perfect entry if you miss uh the the movement that just went up solana is doing good solana still remain at 24 even though we are now seeing a kind of pullback on solana and is now by uh excuse me is at 3.37 percent drop at between now and the last 24 hours Polygon is doing well. Polygon is almost eating one dollar back. We all know Polygon went as low as eighty cent, and I was saying in then that I think Polygon is one of the asset everyone should be buying. Talking about the Matic and Solana and even um, uh, what's it called Shiba Inu. You can see Shiba Inu is just waiting to clean one more zeros. Imagine you buy Shiba Inu at this point, and you can see it's been appreciated for about fifteen point eight three percent in the last seven days so avalanche is trading at seven dollar chain link is trading at seven seventeen dollar avalanche excuse me but chain link is at seven dollar bitcoin cash at 134 and the list going we now see aptos that token that i was talking about last year has now bounced back to appreciate for about 71 percent the last seven days though it's dropping back at four percent the last 24 hours but we're still going to take a look at it now so you guys can understand what's going on ape coin is doing well as well ape coin has appreciated about seven uh about 15.48 percent in the last seven days and see appreciated for about three percent in the last 24 hours and 1.73 percent in the last one hour so these are the coins i just want to show you guys right now now let's go to nft and check uh which of what nft has made it into top 10 we all know the top 10 nft has always been all these the potatoes motanip and all of that now i don't think we have anything new okay me beat it's new and it has made it to number six uh in the top 10 but mutant aph is still sitting at number one crypto punk at number two but aph at number three other the for for other side at number four the potatoes at number five me beat at number six dude at number seven campai pandas at number eight campai panda just made it to top 10 guys and i think it's here to stay because it's been in the top 10 since i think going to one month now and it's not just stepping away from that azuki still remain at number 10 talking about the top 10 and bot ape kenny club at number nine so these are the top 10 nfts uh and guys you know top, uh trading nft uh, is very very is risky you need to be careful we saw what happened in 2022 whereby almost uh 90 percent of the nft went down and we don't want you to lose your money so you need to make sure you do your own research and just buy what you can afford to lose is an asset you're keeping for a long time it's just not what you need to buy now and just think you're gonna make the money yes we have some that you can flip right now and then and make some money but i'm gonna tell you they're very very risky you need to be careful so back to the chart right now we can see btc is doing the most so what are we expecting from btc today i haven't seen that there's not much news coming up in the market talking about the fundamental we can know uh, we all know monday is always quiet uh there's not always good news or when pattern is coming out of uh, the market that is going to have a high impact or medium impact but today uh, i said today tomorrow we might be seeing some flash manufacturing pmi coming out of gbp and united states and also we'll be expecting the cpi quarter the quarter coming out of new zealand and we have some important news coming out during the week so you might want to stick to the channel so we you know be able to bring it to your view and also analyze the market and tell you what you need to do so right now since we don't have much uh, news coming out today what are we expecting to see from btc i think we're just going to be seeing all these rally we saw uh this happening uh during uh weekend during the weekend the market was just moving up and down before we we're able to you know you know broke above below this point you can see this let me let me let me kind of uh, make it clear you can see now we are now trading below this 22600 which now shows now we're having a structure kind of in a higher time frame and this is the first time we're going to experience this since the market start moving up uh from december tighten and why do i not point out all this is let me show you because we've been experiencing this since the market start moving upwards and why is because we're gonna have um 
you normally have a signal presenting itself in a higher time frame whereby you believe, okay, the moment we break it, we're going to have a structure that will now continue to bring the market down. But that has not always been the case. We've always been seeing the moment we break it, we're going to see a sharp rejection. And once we see the sharp rejection, to see that, okay, we have an impulse. Now we'll be waiting for it to mitigate probably all the block around this point. They continue coming down. But the next thing we'll see break above. So that happens around here. Also, if you go up here around our fourth of January, you can see the same thing happen where we have uh, the, the other block, no, excuse me, the structure right here. And now we broke below the structure to have an impulse. But now going back to mitigate and come back to continue the structure, we broke above it again and the market continue moving upward. And the rally continues till um january 12 as well you can see right here january 12 the same thing happened but this is a little bit different because we did not break below this you can see we have the signal there but we failed to maintain the body to break below the price we only have the spike then the market appreciate immediately back and we saw the massive movement and that's how the rally continues as well so it's been what i've been noticing that this are uh, the bull run has just been creating a sell signal, not activating it, continue the buy signal. Again, it will create another one now. So we have it done three times now, but now this is now another one right here. And I believe this should be different. You can see I've already shown how I'm going to place my trade if it should play out. And I'm putting my uh, rate to what you can see is even more than one to one or one to three rich reward but what i'm saying is we can see right that we have the structure you can see we have the structure at 22600 and we were waiting for it to uh, break above it yesterday we broke below the 22600 but the market appreciated back immediately exactly what it has been doing at this point at this point at this point so i think the same thing is repeating itself right there so but one thing i'm now noticing is when you zoom in very well and you look closely, you're going to see that we actually broke below it and even the body was below it. You understand? All the one I've been showing you, you find out that it was just a spike. The body didn't break uh, below it. But this one now, we broke below the price we are waiting for, which is 20 to 600. Now, do we need to get into the market? No. Because, you know, when you have a successful retrace, which is this one and you now have an impulse that now break the structure what you need to do you need to wait for the market to come back and kind of mitigate any other block here that will you you have to sit down in a lower time frame then we now see the market break uh below again then that's when we're not going to have a proper structure and now we're going to have uh I'm going to call it a trend and that's what we can now say one two three four five and the five now would depend depend on where probably it's going to mitigate this other block we have right here or it's going to break below it and go down to another other block we have down there and you know i've always been telling you guys whenever you have too much other block along any structure you just need to go to higher time frame to simplify it out that's just the way you need to do it you see if you simplify it now you're going to see the other blocks are now reducing you can even go to daily time frame to see that okay you can see when you come to daily time frame this is only the other block you'll be looking at here which is around 21600 to 2400 you see so now the market might come down to mitigate this 2400 and continue moving upward again that is possible or we're going to come down to the ultimate order block here where the movement begins itself and you can see we we have the market around seventeen thousand. these are the block then we have this massive movement market must come back and close before it continues though it must still push higher but it must come back and close and if you look at this yesterday on the daily time frame we now have uh, a, a good uh, uh what am i going to call it other block showing at the daily time frame and we can use it to now be where we'll be looking at in the nearest future so the market might pull down like this come to mitigate this and or stop at this first order block first shoot up before it come or form what we call um m kind of trading signal you know do something like this go like this you know then come down but that will be on how the market react and we all know the news is coming the big news is coming uh 
on the February 1st, which is very, very important. That's the FOMC talking about the fund rate, and we need to be careful because the might increase, um, what's it called? The interest rate, if they are not okay with the CPI data, they go, the PPMI data that came out recently. So that's what I'm going to tell you about our BTC today. BTC is showing a kind of sell signal, but we need it to be activated because it's been showing us more than three, four, five times and never activated, continues moving up. And if, you, if you're only just waiting to take the shot, take the shot, you'll keep missing on the trade. So if you have a buy, I will say you might take the profit and just wait for it to break above this point so you can put in your buy bar because what I'm seeing right here now is creating a kind of uh, structure in a lower time frame. You can see this is a lower low, lower high, lower low. Probably we're going to have another lower high around this point, around 23K, then we're going to see creating another lower low. But for you to get a full signal, the full jack of when you need to get into the trade and when you need to get out of the trade, you might want to go to our Discord channel right now. You can see I already dropped some signal analysis this morning where I explain what you need to understand or how you need to go about it. So go to the Discord channel. The link is down in the description so you can subscribe to the Discord channel and the link is always broadcast on the uh, Telegram channel as well. So you can go to the Telegram channel as well. The links are down in the description so you can be part of great thing that will be happening on this channel. All right, let's check out uh, ETH as well and know what ETH before we check out um, probably Solana or the Aptos coin. So I'm going to tell you what you need to do. The ETH USD right now should be the same thing you see. I told you. It should be the same thing because it's been correlation with Bitcoin for the past, uh, let's just say, beginning, since beginning of this year. So what are we expecting from ETH2? We have the eyes at 1,680, and now it's been creating the structure as well. On the lower time frame, we have the structure sitting at 1,618. That's where you need to get into the market but i always tell you don't use the lower uh, time frame to get into the market because sometimes they just deceive you the moment you get into the market it goes the opposite way and now you will be now having long drop down or you'll be waiting to close your trade or being minus so what you need to do is you go to your two hour time frame to see if we have uh, a clear or or am I going to call it a clear signal? You can see we have a clear signal right here. See, this is a clear signal because this is the structure. You can see the market has not even been able to break below it. So now we have the top right here. Let me put, uh, let me do this so you can understand. Yes. Anyway, you have the red, that's where you have the top. So we have the top right there now. And now we have in the structure where I believe that's where you need to get into the market. Though if you use the lower time frame around this point, you might get into the market, but we've seen what has been happening, whereby you get into the market on the lower time frame, it comes down, then it starts appreciating back then, you're going to lose your money or it's going to hit the stop loss. So for you to be... Uh, on the safe side, you need to always get into the market using the higher time frame. That's how crypto works, guys. And now, where do you need to get into the market? We've, we've created a structure. We bounced back. Now, we broke below it, but we couldn't maintain it with the body. It was just a spike, so that doesn't hold. So now, this retrace back is a good one because that now shows we now have the structure being created. Now, we're going back to mitigate uh, the other block around 1,000. 660 to 1680 and now the market is now dropping down so where do you need to get into the market uh when it comes to eth i think it should be around 1620 the moment we break below 1620 i'm expecting you to get into the market but for you to know the actual time or when you need to get into the market subscribe to the discord channel like i said we're going to be dropping the signals and we're even going to be telling you when and how you need to get into the market and when you need to leave the market so you do not just get confused when you see the chat doing some crazy patterns or doing some crazy movement so when you subscribe to the discord channel and the telegram channel you're definitely going to have that immediate or notification like buy now you know and you're gonna have the immediate notification of like get out of the market now so even though you don't understand the chat or you don't understand uh, the structure of what's going on you can easily and uh, 
confidently just close your trade or get into the trade with the signal will be dropping on those uh, telegram channel and the discord channel so that's that on eth so i just believe we're seeing a short signal though they're not activated yet until they're activated before we can take the trade but now the signal is there we're just preparing to see the trade coming out of it and when you put uh let's use the short when you put it you can see one to one uh, risk reward is going to give you up to 1050 but i think we're going to break all these other blocks because remember this market has been rallying for so long so i'm going to tell you when you need to get into the market and get out of the market but this is what we need to be looking at right now now let's check out aptos uh so because we saw the way aptos uh skyrocketed and now let's check it out and see if you need to buy now or you need to sell let us use um i'm trying to look for bitstamp but it's not here but i think i'll go with coinbase yeah i think i'll go with coinbase let's go with coinbase right here and you can see this massive movement this is what happened and that's where we have that market moving from around three dollar to thirteen dollar talking about since december and from january you can see even though you buy it's the same thing but the same thing i'm going to tell you is uh, all these altcoins or all these other assets, they are following the footsteps of Bitcoin because when you look at Bitcoin, it's almost the same rally creating the lower, uh, excuse me, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, and keeps moving on like that. So where do you need to buy uh, Aptos? Now, if you want to get into it and buy it, if you use a Fibonacci, I like to use my Fibonacci on the four-hour time frame because that gives me a clear and remove all those noise around the lower time frame so you can get a proper way where you need to get into the market so like this now the last time when the market moved you can see the market fails to break the 0 0.23 and that's why the market continues and that's one of the rules in trading if the market keeps rallying around 0 0.23 fibonacci retracement just know it's going to continue and if it fails to break 0 0.38.2 as uh, your point 38 to Fibonacci trends. We just know we're gonna have a massive shoot up. But the perfect entry should always be around 0 0.61 or 0 0.78. So where do we need to get into the market if you want to buy? I think this is where you need to get into the market if you're using the overall uh four hour Fibonacci from the eyes to the low. I will expect the market to pull back to around this point and you can see it's making sense because we have a support right here so i'm expecting the market to pull back to 8.6 dollar that's where i'll be expecting anyone that wants to buy our uh, aptos coin to jump into the market but in case the rally continues you can put your buy above this point because if the rally is going to continue we're going to see the market shoot up but i think we've had so much movement uh for the run right now the market needs to retrace i'm not gonna lie to you even at seven dollar is still a perfect retracement when you look at the fibonacci from all time high to this point you can see 60 0.61 percent is even the ideal place to get into the market even though you want to buy you can see massive squeeze happening around the zone so now i think between eight dollar and seven dollars is where you need to start buying now are we not going to wait for the market to just drop down we can short it as well if you want to make money and now where is the signal let's go to the lower time frame first and see if there is a signal yes we have a signal because this is the top let me show you this is the top right here where is the signal let me delete this here is the signal in a lower time frame don't get me wrong guys this is the signal in a lower time frame if we break below 12.63 you need to take a shot but i always tell people don't use lower time frame to judge the validation of the short you need to use the higher time frame and now the higher time frame the lower time frame falls at the same price and i think this is the first time i'm seeing uh something like that it falls around the same zone which is around 12 dollars 63 cent It falls around twelve dollars sixty three cent because we can see now we have a structure even in a higher time frame and now it has gone back to mitigate the eyes again. Now what are we expecting? We're expecting the market to drop. So where do you need to get into the market? You need to get into the market around this point, and the rigs uh, is going to be one to. You can see another other block here. 
So it's going to be, the risk is going to be one to four, and that is not bad, or one to, no. The risk is going to be one to 2.3 risk reward, and that is not bad. If you're risking one to 2.3, it's not bad. And you can even pull it down a bit to the minimum, and that will now give us almost one to three uh risk reward ratio and i think that's a good trade to take so that's where you need to take the trade but for you not to miss out on on any of these i've told you subscribe to the discord channel right now the telegram channel because i'm going to be dropping um the the signal directly when i'm going to say buy right now you're going to get a notification then you buy i'm going to tell you sell right now that's the difference between watching the show and subscribing to the discord channel and the telegram channel because when you're those ones i interact with you directly i tell you what you do even though when the market turn around that you cannot understand what the chart is telling you i'm going to tell you the same thing or i'm going to advise you you need to leave the market now and you can see now our discord channel we keep uh point of how much we're making every month and we want to bring that back so you guys can understand that okay sometimes there might be losses but the overall point in the month you can see in october 2021 we had about 17,122 point uh we have about um in march you can see we have a lot of points so we're going to be sharing all this point for you also uh, in the discord channel so you can add to the crypto analysis to see all the charts all the cryptos we're looking at or we want you guys to buy or you want you to trade and you can as well take a look at that as well so those are the charts i'll be looking on uh today on today's show the bitcoin and breakfast show we're still going to be looking at so many uh, of them and if you have any talking or any project you want me to look at you might drop uh it's at the comment section i'm going to look at it analyze it and talk about it on the next episode of the show so that's that about the chart analysis i just feel like uh the cryptocurrency is preparing a retrace and we might see them pulling back probably from the lowest to the highest 50 percent 0.618 percent depends on when the buyers want to get back to the market you understand but right now i'll just say you stick to the plan and i believe we're all going to win so all right now let's take a look at what is happening in the news and we can see cbdc could revo uh, revo revolutionize global financial system by launching the cbdc that's the central bank digital currency and we can see right here that at least 114 bank representing about 58 percent of total countries in the whole world, which for that generate about 95% of the global GDP are now exploring CBDC, that's the central bank digital currency, you know, and up from 35 we had in 2020, in May 2020, we have about 35 countries to now about 114 countries trying or want to launch their cbdc anytime so we all know some country they've been testing it already until they uh, find the pros and cons and they see that okay it's better then they are going to uh, launch it and we can see a team of cryptocurrency analysts from the bank of america are uh, trying to uh, saying they're going to launch uh, this or they're doing research on the report to conclude how and when they're going to launch that thing i think we need to watch out for that also uh we might want to look at uh the central africa republic highs legal framework for crypto adoption i think and uh, nigeria has been doing the most ghana cameroon and i think part of south africa has been doing more when it comes to uh, p2p but now for government now hiring how they're going to see if they could now have a uh, trading uh or they could now legalize cryptocurrency in their country i think it's a big step for any african country we all know El Salvador is doing that already uh, it's now legal tender and even recently before the end of last year brazil said you can now trade with crypto though it's not legal tender but it's not acceptable we saw that coming out too in brazil so now we have central african republic now saying it's a developing country in central africa now they say they're setting up they're setting up 15 member committee responsible for drafting a bill on the use of cryptocurrency and tokenization in the region i think that's a good news and according to i don't know how to pronounce the name it's kind of a french name the president of car cryptocurrency can potentially help eradicate the country's financial barriers and i think a lot of africans need to tap into that and they believe in creating a business-friendly 
environment supporting by a legal framework for cryptocurrency usage in the country and we're going to wait and look out for that also let's take a look take a look at genesis we all know genesis filed for bankruptcy chapter 11 last week and now the first hearing will be coming up on I think that will be today, January 23rd, according to the court filing. So we're going to hear what and what. Though we've been hearing some news and we've been hearing some gist that they have about uh, so much money to pay the creditors and also they have about $500 million in cash. And also news or something new is coming up because now it's now saying that they even have about... 226 million in claims against FTX. And we all know FTX is insolvent. They file for bankruptcy as well. Sam Bankman Free is being, um, how am I going to call it? Sam Bankman Free is being uh, charged to court, even though he's, under, uh, he's on bail with house arrest now. But now, how do they get 220 million uh, dollars back from FTX with whatever that has happened with FTX and Sam Bankman Free? We all know. And now, Genesis is a top crypto lending unit that fueled for bankruptcy that filed excuse me for bankruptcy on Thursday and was listed as FTX tops on secure creditor within the exchange own bankruptcy document how are they going to go about it i think that's a big blue because i don't see reason where or i don't see where they're going to generate 226 million us dollars for them but let's see how the whole thing unfolds the first hearing is coming up today and we're going to see update you guys on what and how it's going to go uh, tomorrow on another episode. Now, speaking about FTX and Sam Bank, Sam Bankman Freed, we now know that Sam Bankman Freed is set to fortify about 700 million worth of asset if found guilty of fraud because, you know, uh, DOG, the Department of Justice, have seized uh, asset worth 700 million worth of Sam Bankman Freed and if found guilty is going to... Uh, guilty excuse me is going to lose all that money and i think that's a huge sum of money although he's been hiding the people that um how am i gonna say they are running the 250 million bill and you know stood for him to get a bill well, people are still trying to know who are those people uh you know rumor has it that probably kevin O'Leary is part of them and probably the parent but we don't know yet we, uh, he's been he said he wants it to be hidden or to be private and it has been like that since but another big news that we need to talk about today is Binance Swift banking partner said to ban USD transfer below 100k and Binance stressed that the credit and debit card payment will continue to be accepted that non uh that non US bank transfer will still be processed through Swift payment you understand so we don't know how this is going to affect the crypto community because if you want to trade anything less than 100k you cannot use the swift payment and we all know a lot of people that are using their banking or they're transferring money from one country to another they need to use the swift uh, uh banking platform so if this is going to affect now i don't know how that is going to tell on binance but i believe they're going to find a way to it but that's just the news that we got that any transaction that is below 100k us dollars will not be tolerated using the swift uh, uh platform any longer it has to be more than 100,000. so we're gonna see what that is going to bring uh in the nearest future so that's that on the news today i think that's just what i have to share with you but let's check the fear and greed so we can know what the fear and greed looks like today and you can see the fear and greed index is now sitting at neutral again we had it at neutral some days ago last week and we saw what happened after being at neutral the market skyrocketed and i think it went to around 53 it becomes fear but now we're back at neutral and that's what i'm telling you we might be seeing some reversal because the market has moved so much imagine from i think around 16,000 to 23 k now at 22 something now and we've not seen a normal retrace and market don't just go straight up market is like a wave even though we're having a bull run it has to go but retrace to mitigate those other blocks because for 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 a sell to be active we need to have an active buyer so we're going to just have a buyer 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 who are the people selling so if we don't have such thing coming to place we're just going to see a massive crash in the future so a good correction is always good for 
uh, our trading that is moving in in a wave. You understand, and I think we're going to experience that. But right now, the fear and greed index is sitting at fifty and is neutral again. And I think uh, that is wonderful. So that's what I have for you today on the show. Shout out to our sponsor, Instacash FX, for sponsoring the show. If you want to sell your Bitcoin, you want to buy your Bitcoin, you might want to reach out to them. They're fast, reliable, and efficient. And also, if you want to learn how to trade cryptocurrency, forex, and even know how to invest when it comes to all these assets and trading, you might want to head to www.instacashfx.com and go to their training section right here and apply for free training, and you'll be called according to your batches so you get the free trade and i've told you i've always been saying it on the show you might even get funding for free so you can be part of this great that is happening on the show all right guys thanks for hanging out with me if you've not subscribed to the channel please do right now subscribe like and share until i see you on the next episode which is going to be tomorrow please stay out of trouble make sure you use your risk reward management when you're trading do not fumble into any token if you miss the boss just wait at the bus stop another boss is going to come and you're going to get into the boss the same ideology is what i've been preaching to you guys when you miss a trade you don't need to chase the market you don't need to chase the trade just wait there there will be a reverse at 100%. If there's no reverse at 23,000, there will be a reverse at 25 back to maybe 23 or 20K and you get into the bus. That means you get into the trade and you make cool money for yourself. But if you keep chasing the trade, I bet you, you're just going to keep losing your money and you do not want to uh, find yourself losing your ad and money. And that's why this show is being about giving value to the people, you know, giving you information and, you know, having top-notch trading uh, charts analysis for you guys so this is the bitcoin and breakfast show where we trade it and we do not gamble as to me myself i made a lot of magic kazim until i see you on another episode stay out of trouble and peace out